dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world may i quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories endeavor to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed thank you so much guys i appreciate your support Catholic Bishop Reverend Matthew Kuka of the Sokoto Diocese has said that President Muhammad Buhari has sacrificed the dreams of Nigerians on the altar of nepotism by allegedly pursuing a northern hege hegemony. The bishop also said Nigeria appeared to be heading for darkness under Buhari's regime. Noting that the government must explain the mystery behind the endless bloodletting in the country occasioned by insecurity. He described Nigeria as a rudderless country where the citizens traveled in a boat devoid of captain or crew and without any maps and destination insights. Kuka said, or Kuk, Bishop Kuka said this on Friday in his Christmas message titled, A Nation in Search of Vindication. The bishop said, This government owes the nation an explanation as to where it is headed as we seem to journey into darkness. The spilling of blood must be related to a more sinister plot that is beyond our comprehension. Are we going to remain hogtied by these evil men or are they gradually becoming part of a larger plot to seal the fate of our country? President Buhari deliberately sacrificed the dreams of those who voted for him for what seemed like a program to stratify an institutionalized northern hegemony by reducing others in public life to second-class status. He has pursued this self-defeating and alienating policy at the expense of greater national cohesion. Every honest Nigerian knows that there is no way any non-Northern Muslim president could have done a fraction of what President Buhari has done by this nepotism and got away with it. There would have been a military coup a long time ago or we would have been at war. The, presi the president may have concluded that Christians will do nothing and will leave with these actions. Bishop Kuka maintained that Buhari's alleged nepotism and commitment to reinforcing the foundations of Northern hegemony had their implications as prominent Northerners with a, side, with a conscience had raised the red flag, pointing out the consequences of his nepotism on national cohesion and trust. He said against the backdrop of Nigerians' endless woods, the country had become a nation embroiled in desolation with the prospects of a failed state staring the citizens in the face. He, however, urged Nigerians not to give up despite the pain, sorrow, and uncertainty in the land, enjoining them to pray to God to save the nation. He added, Yes, our dreams have been aborted. Yes, 
our common world has been stolen. Yes, our cancer of corruption has metatarsized. Yes, we have been guilty of patricide, fratricide, and attempted even suicide. Yes, we are hungry, angry, thirsty, and starving. Yet we stand firmly with the unshaken belief that no matter the temptations, the world has known worst times. This may be the worst out of times, or the worst of times, but for men and women of faith, they could be the best of times. We must stand firm and resolute because our Redeemer liveth. The bishop pointed out that the recent abduction of Kankara schoolboys in Katsina, coupled with kidnapping of schoolgirls in Chibok, Borno State and Dapchi in Yobe State, had further revealed the dangers children are exposed to in the northern part of the country. He added, the Almajiri is the poster child of the horrible and inhuman conditions of the northern child. It is a best kept secret that the region refuses to confront, but it has now exposed its underbelly. Now, what is the next for the children of the north? We thank God that the children, the Kankara schoolboys, have been returned safely. This is the easy part. The challenge now is how to deal with the scars inflicted by a derelict nation which is still unable or unwilling to protect its citizens. Yes. We commend the federal and state governments for the rescue operation. The larger issues now are whether the federal government understands the evil web of intrigues into which the BH has tied it. Will the federal government continue to reward and fund the BH by playing its game? How long can this cycle of deceit last for? Given that every kidnap merely strengthens their arsenal. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garba Shehu, did not respond when attempts were made to get his response. Well, it is what it is. Do you agree with Bishop Kuka's um, claim that Buhari is sacrificing Nigerians for northern interests? Well, to a very large extent, with the situation of things in the country, it is sad that one, you know, tends to agree or believe this particular um, opinion of Bishop Matthew Kuka, who has over the years been vocal against this administration and how they've been going about governance. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? It is obvious that the president is sacrificing Nigerians, you know, for not an interest. Look at the rate at which people are being killed, people are being maimed, maimed. You know, look at the level of insecurity. Now, even children are not safe. So you can see to a very large extent that there is fire on the mountain. But it is what it is, guys. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts? Well, drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Share your thoughts. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.